Okay, hi there. My name's Don Tipping. I'm here at Seven Seeds Farm, which is the home of Siskiyou Seeds. And today we're talking about seed saving uh, with tomatoes made simple. These are some Sunrise Bumblebee cherry tomatoes that I found another grower selling at the farmer's market. They're an open pollinated variety and tomatoes you can save seed from. Even just one fruit because they're self-pollinated. So these here I smashed up and have been fermenting here Sun Sunrise Bumblebee you can see they've been fermenting in there and now it's time to extract the seeds so I have this variety here and also these um, gold current or white current uh, another name for them is champagne bubbles really sweet and then they've been fermenting as a mash here and now they're both ready to decant the seed. So the way we do it, I like to call this water winnowing. So I'm going to add some water to that and also the uh, champagne bubbles here. Let that sit for a minute. And what you can see happen here is that the, uh, you know, predominantly the pulpy meats have floated to the top. So I can just pour that off. There's some seeds that float off, but you shouldn't be concerned with those ones because they're probably not as viable. Um, so I'm gonna add some more water. And you just repeat this process of pouring off the solids and then allowing the seeds to settle to the bottom. After you add water, you wanna wait for a little while because the swirling action will make the seeds not be at the bottom. So I'm going to add water one more time and I think that will get us to a clean state. And let's see here. But again, got to wait for those seeds to all settle to the bottom and basically any seeds you see floating are probably not as viable and you shouldn't be concerned about pouring some of the seeds off because those ones are not going to be as vigorous. And now you can see there at the bottom of the container, I have pretty much seeds and water. So I already have a screen here and I can pour them out there. And what's really important in seed saving is that you label what you're doing. I like using uh, just Sharpie on masking tape because you can see I can take it right off my um, container there and I've already got it labeled on the screen. And again, you got to be careful that you're not, you know, getting any from one variety to the next. Here are these um, current tomatoes. I'm going to add some more water here. And I'll just let this dry. Oftentimes we'll dry it in the greenhouse. Um, and then those seeds, once they're dry, you kind of crumble them up and then put them in some kind of container for storage and I'm able to take these tomatoes that I found at the market that I was very intrigued by and I'll grow them again next year and if we really love them you'll probably be seeing them in the 2019 Siskiyou Seeds offerings so right, the last pour here on this one and then I'll pour them out sometimes you will still have a little bit of meats in there but it's not that big a deal and you can see from just a basket of cherry tomatoes I got from the market I've got a very large supply of seed and I need to be careful to not mix these up and now I'll demonstrate this is a, a little bit larger uh, technique where I took some Roma tomatoes this is a variety we are trialing called Roma Supremo and it's a hybrid Roma tomato, and I'm interested in seeing if I can get this to become an open pollinated variety. So I've had this fermenting for the last week here, and now I do the same thing I was doing in the smaller containers, but just on a larger scale. So again, I'm waiting for all the seeds that just got agitated to settle. Then I'll pour off the slop, and you can see some remnants of large Roma tomatoes there, but not much seed in what I poured off because the seeds are all down at the bottom. And uh, we'll add some more water, and probably after this one it'll be good to go. 
But tomatoes, once again, are a really great place to start with seed saving because they will not cross, generally speaking, with other tomatoes. So you don't need to worry about isolation distances and so forth. And this is how many of the great heirloom tomatoes were kept uh, going by different families for generations, is people could take advantage of this fact that the seed saving techniques were pretty easy. Again, we'll wait a little bit and then pour uh, the meat. And you just wanna be watching carefully what's happening. And down there in the bottom is, is my seed. And then I've got a screen here and pour, pour that seed off. And now I've got enough seed to start off a grow out of the Roma Supremo tomatoes next year. And that's it. Seed saving with tomatoes hacked. Thanks. Bye.